It worries me that the police are hunting down and recording as being hateful on criminal records people who don't accept a person's gender identity. It worries me that the police are intent on changing our language. It worries me that the police are trying to re-educate us. They've gone from being our thought police to our language police. That worries me. If I were to summarise this report in one sentence, I would have to reference its title. Its title is Policing Through the Looking Glass, which is direct reference to um, the famous children's story. Um, you know, it's Alice in Wonderland, Through the Looking Glass, etc. And through the looking glass, you enter a world of Humpty Dumpty, where up is down and words mean what the hell you want them to mean. In fact, it's quite strange. Um, Alice says to Humpty Dumpty, but that's not what that word means. And Humpty Dumpty says to Alice, a word means what I say it means. Uh, all, all that I have to decide is which meaning is master, that is all. And this is where we are with, um, with the police and Stonewall, because the police have adopted a, a language that is not familiar to any of us. So we have this ridiculous situation where crime means both crime and non-crime. Woman means woman, but also anyone that thinks they're a woman. We have a whole set of words like that, which are absolutely ridiculous. We have brand new words like transphobia. I mean, what is transphobia? Um, well, transphobia, according, according to Stonewall, is any disagreement about a person's gender identity. So, this is not simply a man saying that I'm a woman or a woman saying I'm a man. How about this? If I tell you that I am nutois, would you have a clue what I was talking about? Well, what about if I said I was agender? Or what if I said I was smoke gender? Or what about if I said I was a two-spirit? Would you have a clue what I was talking about? No, absolutely. But if you don't believe that I am smoke gender or two gender or a gender or bi gender, then you are committing a hate crime. And this is what's happening here. The police are taking familiar words, regular words, victim, there's another word. A victim is someone who has suffered some form of uh, assault, you know, some form of damage to their, to their person. No, not in Stonewall's um, and the police's version of language. A victim is anybody who says they're a victim. Anybody who dislikes what you or I say, they're a victim. We haven't hurt them. We haven't done anything to them. We've never met them. We've never spoken to them. They've just perhaps done a Google search as to what we might have said and they've gone, oh, I don't like what they say, uh, I'm a victim. Now, that's what Stonewall say. What's absolutely terrifying is that the police have 100% adopted the lexicon of Stonewall. They have adopted this crazy Humpty Dumpty language where if you don't abide 100% with these crazy made up words that you find only by falling down the rabbit hole and through the looking glass, then you can find yourself on the wrong end of a non-crime crime report, like I did, and like 87,000 other people at the very least. And that's why we say that um, this, this story doesn't really have a, a happy ending because we've got literal policemen and women out there with tasers and guns and the ability to lock us up and they're, and they're watching what we say, what we think. Um, if we don't express ourselves in the right way, we get a crime report against our name, we get investigated, we get shut down. Um, and this is so serious, as I say, that the High Court um, likened Humberside's actions against me to the Checker, the Gestapo and the Stasi.